Varun is asking, there is a lot of mental activity, not peace. How can I improve this situation? The answer is very simple. There is nobody to improve any situation. All that can be done is awareness of the mental activity and whatever is disturbing the peace. Become aware of it. Watch it as an observer, silent observer, and it will be gone. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to make it positive. Don't try to suppress. Let it happen in complete awareness. That which is unnecessary will be dropped. That which is peace is always at peace. And that which is active will always be active. And nothing can be done about it. Shift your identification from that which is not peaceful to the peaceful one. You are the peaceful one. And let the everything else happen naturally. This is the trick. What do we say is everything that happens is perfect. Let us say uh, somebody becomes sick, somebody gets a disease. That is perfect, isn't it? Given the situations, given the events, given everything, that is must happen. So it is perfect. But from the point of view of that person, was it really necessary? You said it is necessary, things happen because they are necessary for the survival. So is that disease necessary for the survival? Perfection and the necessity for survival and so on. We say that everything that this creature does is for survival. So probably you are thinking that now why there are negative things it is doing when it all it wants is surviving peacefully, happily. So the negative activity is also for survival only. It is not harmful for survival. For ex example, pain in the body. Why is it there? What will happen if you don't get pain when you are hurt or when you are scratched or burned? What will happen? Can anybody answer me? What will happen if there is no pain in the body and uh, the suffering of the mental kind is also pain? It is signaling something. Something is wrong. Somebody insulted you and now all the negative thoughts. That is pain signals. Yes, we pain is saying for attention on that particular part. Yeah. Is it not necessary for survival? Is the pain in the body not necessary for survival? Yeah, Rajit is saying that specific part will be ignored. If it is bleeding, you won't even come to know it is bleeding if there is no pain. And the creature will die in five minutes. The pain stops the creature. The creature does something for the pain, you know, to relieve the pain. For example, if eating something hurts your stomach, you are not going to eat it again. If it doesn't hurt, death is certain. Yes, Shreya is saying trigger to attend the problem. Body is a layer in the mind, as you know. Body is not physical. Is pain physical? No, pain is totally non-physical. How can something physical produce a non-physical pain? People don't understand these things. It is non-physical. And the mind is also non-physical. And it is producing these non-physical signals of uh, emotions, thoughts, do something about this situation. Somebody insulted you. Now kill that fellow because he can kill you in future. Why? Fights begin as insults. Your causal body knows this thing. Before fight, there is usually an insult. So it prepares the creature for the coming danger. It is survival only. From the point of view of uh, the an intelligent person, it is totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. So what happens when you are aware, you can, the intellect can catch it that, oh, this is the signal. It is not real pain, actually. There is no need to act on it. And then the thoughts, they die out. This is what I'm saying. The peace is restored and you can do it even when there is pain in the body and even when there is some kind of other suffering. You can do it even when there is excitement in the body and there is positive uh, um, environment in the mind that can also go away. That is also not peace. So it is restored. All these events are absolutely perfect. The bad events, they're perfect. The pain they cause, mental, bodily, they're perfect. And you coming in awareness and restoring the peace, perfect. We say that it happens because of necessity necessity probably there you got confused perfection is due to necessity this must happen but where what i'm saying here is not that kind of thing we are to talking totally from a relative point of view 
where some things are totally unnecessary. They need not be tolerated as they are. You can do something to fix it. Like Varun was asking, how can I improve the situation? He is not talking at the absolute level of the Brahman, where everything is okay, perfect. So and in the relative sense, we can sense that it is not perfect. And then we do something to make it perfect. This whole process is perfection only. Attention shifting has not happened for me. So I would like to ask, where do you want to shift the attention? Attention is given to an experience. Whatever you are saying is, I want to remember the isness. That's all you are saying. Isness is not an experience. So all you can do is, you can shift your attention to this, your knowledge that everything is as it is. But that's not going to be of much help. The isness is always there, even if you are not attending or if you do not, you are not knowing it, if you are not remembering it. Isness is the non-dual state. We call it experiencing. We don't usually call it isness. So probably in the blog, there are different words are used. But uh, when we talk from the point of view of the program, I always recommend that you use the words in, that are in the program, isn't it? Hmm? Okay. Because the blog may be saying something from in some other context, some other perspective, using some other philosophy, some other words. Blog is not your program. Remember this. What is the technique given in our videos to become aware? Forget about business, Buddhism. Remember who you are. Remember you, that you are the uh, experiencer. Abide as that. Everything that is happening is an experience, not happening to me. It is happening to this other experiences. If it is necessary, something must be done about it, like I was saying. Which your body, it, it will react. Mind will react. It will do something. Let it happen. Why should we stop it? If it is unnecessary, the awareness is going to kill it. Your attention practice is not awareness practice, isn't it? Attend to the event and then become aware. Shift your attention to the event, not to anything else. There is nothing else to shift to. You cannot attend to the experiencer. You cannot attend to the awareness. You can only attend to experiences. Now the attention, as soon as it is drawn, you should come in the awareness. That is what is the practice about of attention. If you're not even paying attention, then there is no chance of awareness coming up. This is called sleeping state, where the attention is so scattered that... Uh, the person is almost sleeping there. At least when you start attending, sit down or stop and see. Even without awareness, you do this. That triggers the awareness. That is the attention practice. People are, you know, in always in a hurry of some kind I've seen. Always moving, always uh, scattered and they cannot attend to anything. And then there is no awareness. There is no chance of awareness even after knowledge. How can they even get knowledge of any kind? And there is no attention. So we recommend attention practice. And uh, you cannot shift your attention to the experiencer. It is not an experience. What is the definition of attention? Exclusion of all experiences except one. And you cannot, therefore, because it is related to only experiences, you cannot attend to the experiencer. And isness is also not an experience. It is that which is. You can attend to this thought that what is, is okay. But that is a thought. It is not isness. That which is, is okay is not going to bring peace of any kind. Unless there is awareness that I am not all these things. Like there are people now. Why is, they can say, why is this isness? Why is this emptiness causing suffering to me? Now you can see a lot of ignorance there. A lot of ignorance. Not only they have mixed the levels of knowledge, duality into non-duality and illusion into non-duality. It's all mixed up plus no understanding plus they don't know what to do. It's a tremendous amount of catastrophe. That's all. So it is very uh, necessary to know all these words, not use them without thinking. Plus know the correct way to silence the mind. There is nobody who can silence the mind. There is nobody who can shift the attention. Where are you shifting the attention? There is nobody to do that. Become aware. Attention will be gone to, you know, wherever it wants to go. It will go there. It's okay. At least there, is, there, will, there will be attention. And then there will be awareness. Awareness will do its job. The intellect will do its job. If it does not, who cares? 
Let it be noisy. All experiences are only noise. We call it vibration. Can you stop it? Just noise. You are silence. Can you stop that? No. You are already silence. This recognition is awareness. Oh, it is all exactly that which it should be. And this is isness. So very easy, you see. Sweetie is saying, is it not being aware of things the only problem that disturbs us? Actually, it is a problem, but uh, it does not disturb the experiencer at all. It is happy without being aware. It is that which is. So it has no problems. And why would your intellect have the problem? Because the intellect should know that. Yeah, the it, the fundamental that is the uh, the existence, that has no problem with it. But the one who is seeking to know that for that being the not being aware is the only disturbance that's what i meant like we can't know uh, who we exactly are until and unless we become aware of what's going on because the mind has got itself used to all the distractions throughout the ages and that's the only thing that keeps us away from knowing the true nature of ourselves. That's what I meant. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So <laughs> it is a problem that we are not aware and the solution is very simple. Knowledge is the solution. Be in knowledge. Remember, people think awareness is a very uh, difficult practice. Actually, it is the simplest. People want difficult practices because they cannot accept the simplest. So. It was a problem for me also when I was not, uh, you can say, ready, when I was not even practicing. And my mind also said, my intellect said, no, there is no use of it. You need something which works. That is what my intellect told. This will not work. So it searched for something very, very complicated, like the occult practices and all. But awareness is very simple. It works. The, you can say the problem is understanding what is what it means to be aware. So like we have seen an example, behavior is not changing, but that does not that is not awareness practice at all. I have seen one thing that those who understood the teachings perfectly, they have no problem at all with the awareness and they don't even mind that it is not there or it is there. If it goes away, they don't have any problem with it. And when it comes, Obviously, no problem. So how to achieve that carelessness? You must be thinking. First, it tells me to become aware. Then it tells me to be careless. These are steps, yes. We are taking you through the steps. Why do people get tangled into Because of a misunderstanding. And yes, you see, that can happen. So I see a relation between attention and awareness. And I see that there is an probably need to fix the attention. And then I recommend, okay, do this attention practice for five minutes and then people stretch it to five hours, no awareness, what happened. So it is to be understood that um, what, is, uh, what is the goal of the practice. Otherwise, you will uh, get stuck in the minor things. Then I say, okay, awareness 24 by 7. And then they become very, very serious that it is not 24 by 7. No, become careless after that. Once you have tasted the awareness few times, there will be a natural attraction to remain aware. Like he was saying that I cannot do it. There is a lot of mental noise, distraction and so on. So why has that happened? Because very new, you are very new in the practice. It is perfectly okay. Let, let this thing taste the awareness. And it will gravitate towards awareness. Bring more um, occasions of awareness in your life. Find excuses to be aware. Distract yourself with awareness. Become lazy with awareness. Today I am going to do only awareness. No work. You see, you can turn your negativity into positivity like this. There are two kinds of people. Now. People hate world and then they turn to spirituality. Like an escape from the world. Nothing happens. And then the peop then people, no world today, only spirituality. Then everything happens correctly, properly. It looks like both are negative, but the second one, the negativity has been turned into positivity. 
after this is achieved do you care if there is world if there is a worldly life if there are relatives if there is job <laughs> if there is something going on wars or diseases do you worry about that no, careless then the spiritual becomes material when when you are careless the material becomes spiritual and the spiritual becomes material there is no difference between the life and spirituality now that difference is also artificial so same way we should not perceive any difference in the later stages of awareness practice there comes a time when we don't perceive any difference between awareness and unawareness the awareness is there whenever it wants to be there and the rest of the time seems as if there is an unawareness but that is simply forgetting means i need to do something about it you forget to do that it is always as a background that happens with practice you say it takes time and the only um, mistake you can make is that not understand the pra- practice correctly or to get tangled into its different stages oh i like this one much better we'll do the awareness next week and the next week never comes or you jump into the projections or i want something in the dream now we'll do the waking state practices next month and nothing comes in the dream no awareness in the dream so ignoring the practice and getting tangled into small things that can go wrong it has to be very very simple natural desire to be aware intention can you be aware no you can only hold an intention to be aware rest is the is mechanical process like setting up the alarm intention is the only willful thing we can do and the rest is it happens automatically the sign of progress on step number 4 or in this this kind of practices is that the practice is dropped if you see that you are adding to the practices oh i want to do this then second number 2 i want to do that also three this and four that and now my diet and now my family now my job the list is growing and that is something is wrong it should reduce and it should become zero finally there should not be any practice what can the guru do <laughs> the, the guru can only point that you know something is wrong sit down think about it the guru cannot practice for you you see on the path of knowledge we clear doubts we answer questions isn't it so answering questions is all we can do in satsang and all the practice must be done by the individual so the guru cannot do practice on your behalf the guru is mostly useless when you are practicing you see most i can do is set up a intention for you which is already there which is already there 